Greetings. I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about inventory and, and inventory tracking. Now, I know that not all of you have issues with inventory. Not all of you even carry inventory. But for those of you that do, the tracking of that inventory can be a very challenging, a very challenging endeavor. And, and you know, some, some, financials, some financial systems are, 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 are put together to track something called in, in perpetual inventory. And what perpetual inventory is, is perpetual inventory says that for every item of inventory that gets brought in, you track it, you track it in detail when it comes in, you track it in detail when it goes out, and it ties to your, it ties to your revenue. And the idea behind that is in real time, at any particular point in time, you should be able to know exactly what you have in inventory. And I very much agree with that system of inventory, but I also think that it's important to uh, consider that it shouldn't cost you more to track your inventory than the actual value of the inventory itself. And so what I like to think about is something that I would call an ABC inventory system. And an ABC inventory says divide your inventory up in, into three categories, A, B, and C, based on the value of that inventory or the value that it provides for your company. So if you have inventory that is very expensive or um, you know, is, is very unique and, and you wanna make sure that you're always aware of exactly how much of it you have in stock at any particular point in time, and that's whether you're a reseller, um, you know, or, or whether you're a manufacturer or whether you're a construction company. If you've got valuable inventory that you want to keep a close hand on, then a perpetual inventory system for that particular item works for you. The next category are, those would be A items. The next category would be B items. And those, those are items that are important for your business and what you do, but it isn't necessarily important for you to know exactly how many of them you have on hand, as long as you know you have enough of them on hand and, and are able to monitor, um, and, and able to monitor uh, your ability to reorder them so it doesn't cost you money if, if you run out of them. I guess, uh, for example, they could be things that you could, you know, that you could, as we would say, take an eyeball inventory of, and that is that, um, or you would, you could physically count them with some relative ease. And so you could, you know, you could look at a, uh, if you will, a, a, a jar of something or a bin of something and see that it's half full or a quarter full or three quarters full by, by observation rather than needing to take them all out and count them. Um, and that would be the second level of inventory. And the third level of inventory uh, would again be those items that, um, you know, if, if I can give you the example of, of a construction company that would have, you know, a, a box of nails, it, it would be really, you'd, you'd want to check to make sure you have enough nails, but you certainly don't want to have some, pay someone to sit there and count nails. You would be able to look and, and you know, look down the aisle and say, listen, I've got, I got two boxes of this or three boxes of that without it being involved in that perpetual inventory system. Again, I think the key to the, the, key to the inventory system is that it shouldn't cost you more to track your inventory uh, then your then the value of that inventory is to your business and, and again there's a variety of tracking systems available to you um, and in for and it's important for you to understand which is going to be the best for you uh, if you've got any questions about uh, how best to track your to track your stuff if you will um, and which and which system might be the most efficient for doing that I would be happy to talk to you about it until then take care and be well